Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I show you how to take an AMI backup for an Amazon EC2 server and store it into an Amazon S3 bucket. So you can store an Amazon Asian image in the Amazon, Amazon S3 bucket and you can store and restore from wherever you want. So this can reduce a cost and a security purpose or else you can if you have purchased any license for a certain tool to the operating system. So you can take a AMI backup for several days or years. So for this we need a Amazon EC2 and you need to take an AMI backup and you need to store it in Amazon S3 using a cloud shell or programmatic access. And you need to restore from Amazon S3 to the AMI and after that you need to build a server. So this is this where you want to have the Amazon EC2 server in your AWS region and I need to create in the same AWS region. So for this I need to have access key and secret keys. So let me go back to this console and create an EC2 instance. So I am going to create in Mumbai region. So I will go for test server. And go for Amazon Linux 2023 AMI and t2.micrison of. And this is my key pair. And public IP is enabled. And GP3 is enough. Yeah, launch in situ instance. Let's wait for the instance state to be running state. So now the instance is in running state and let me log into the server. So if you see here, there is no files in slash root. There is empty files or folders. So let me create a folder. Get here slash term. Sorry. So if you see here, term is created. So there is no files in the, in the term folder. So let me create some files term one. Write some content into these files. So I have written some file contents into these files and let me view this file and this is the second file and this is the third file so I have created some files in the Tarun directory so you can see here it is in the root directory and let me go back to the cd slash so you can see here the Tarun is there and you can create in the Tarun also let me create some files in the here T1, T2, T3, and T4. Sorry, I have created files, right? So it is uh, taking as uh, proper format, so it is not been uh, created. So let me create as T1. So 
So you can see here I have created three files and name it as t1, t2, t3 and I have given some contents into the files. So you can see here t1 and t2 and t3. So these are the files and the slash root. And I have given uh, cd slash. So I have given some files and folders in slash root and slash. So let me go back to the console and you need to take the AMA backup. So this is the AWS architecture diagram. So I have created Amazon EC2 and uh, created some files and folders inside this server. And I need to take a AMA backup and store it into an Amazon S3. So after this storing, you need to delete this AMA and this server. So after that, we can restore this AMA from S3 to this AMA console. And you need to build a new server with this AMA, which is restored back. So let's achieve this. Let me take the MA for this. Create MA. So MA backup. Storing S3. So the same name I need to give. No reboot enable. So create image. You verify the AMA is created or not. So it is taking some time to create and the status is in pending state. Let me go back to the snapshots and verify how much percentage it is completed. So you can see here 4%. So till the time let me create an Amazon S3 bucket to store your AMA into the S3. So we need an Amazon S3 bucket. So let me create one Amazon S3 bucket. So this is my AMA bucket. I can name it as my AMA bucket and the timestamp. And there should be no ACLs. If you want to ACLs, you need to uh, choose ACLs enable. And I'm going to block all public access. And I don't want to give any encryption for this. And create a bucket. So if you can see here in my Amazon S3 bucket, there is no files and folders here. So let me verify the snapshot status and still it is in 4%. So let me go back to the cloud shell. For this, you need to have your programmatic access like access key and secret key. So let me verify whether I have given already the access key and secret key or not. This is my user where I have logged in as Archie and these are the access key and secret keys. So let me refer as 7PS access key and secret keys GLD ending with and this is 7P and GLD and default region name is IP South 1 and default format is JSON. So all are verified. Let me go back to the snapshot and check that the snapshot is in 100% available. So let me go back to the AMI. So it is in available state and you need to copy this AMI ID and you need to give the commands. So for creating, st storing and image into a S3 bucket, you need to use this command. And after that, you need to describe store image task like uh, whether how much percentage is going to complete and what is the progress of this AMI image to store in S3. So this is the command where you need to restore the image from S3 to AMI. So this is a different command I will show you later. So copy this AMI ID and paste it here. So this is my AMI ID. So 8068 I have copy pasted here. And this is my AMI bucket which I have created. So copy this command and go to the cloud shell. Paste it here. So you can see here the confirmation as object key dot bin file has been created. So for this you need to verify how much progress and how much the S3 in the AMA is going to in S3. So let's view the complete progress. So it is in first 37 and it is in 100 status and it is completed stage now. So you can verify in the S3. So some object will be created here. 
so if you can see here ama dot bin file so it will create as a type as dot bin file and you can see here the timestamp and it is created as 457 mb file so if you can see here the server is having a 8 gb memory sorry 8 gb size so but in amazon s3 bucket you can see here it is in an archival state so it is an encrypted highly encrypted and stored into s3 so it's for security purpose and uh, cost affecting you can store into s3 and next you need to delete this ami and uh, image so it is copied into this s3 so let me terminate this server and let me delete this ami let me verify the volumes or so it will automatically delete it let's wait and there is no snapshots it is already going to delete so there is no ams form and snapshot is going to delete sorry now we need to delete the snapshot So there is no matching volumes form so automatically it is the volume is deleted so let's verify in the instance page so there is no instance is running state so here we have taken an amazon ec2 server and taken ami for this ec2 server backup and stored into s3 and now we have deleted this ami and deleted the server which is created from the scratch and we need to restore this ami from s3 into ami and after this you need to build a server from this ami so let's HU this so this is the dot bin file so for this you need to have this command like ec2 create restore image task and you need to copy paste the dot bin file name ending with a 6 dot bin and my bucket name and i need to give the name as restore ami backup so if you give the same name of ami which is created from earlier so it will uh, mis give a mismatch error so you need to give a different name for the AMA backup so you need to give a restored AMA backup I'm going for the name and go to the cloud shell test it and you need to get confirmation like it is object has been image id it 416b is created in AMI so go to AMI and check 416b AMI ID has been created and the name has restored AMI backup. So it is in pending state. So it is in still unavailable zero percent. So let's verify and uh, check this. So if we can see here, progress is in hundred percent and go to AMIs so you can launch an EC2 server from this AMI so let's wait for the status available now it is in pending state so you can see here the status is available for the AMI which has been uh, restored and you need to launch an EC2 instance from this AMI so you can see here there is no AMIs running in my console so you can see here all are terminated so let me launch an air restored AMI server. I'll choose for the network settings as public IP enable the security group and GP3 is enough. Launch EC2 instance. You can see here the instance state is in running state and you need to log into this restored AMA server. Let me copy this public IP and I need to check the files which I have created earlier. So that's what I have. I'm going to log in whether my data is encrypted and it is in safe state and it is taken backup completed completely or not. So let me log in. Switch to sudo. I have created under slash and slash root so go back to slash root so let me 
let me verify so Tarun is already there so you can see here at Tarun one file and Tarun two three Tarun three so these are the files which I have safely encrypted and it is stored into S3 and I have restored from Amazon S3 to the AMA and after that I have built an Amazon EC2 server wherever whenever you want to take the backup and let me go back to steady slash and let's verify so Tarun folder is there so you can see here so all the files and the contents has been appeared so this is where you want to take AMA backup and store into S3 and whenever you want to take the a restore from the S3 you can do these commands using these CLA scripts or programmatic access using access key and secret keys so I have done it in the same region in the same S3 bucket in the same region and uh, same uh, AWS account so if you can we want to do it in a different region also you can work it on and using similar options like uh, giving the region and uh, different AWS account number so this is where you want to do this and achieve this using s3 storing and restoring so that's it guys thanks for watching my video please do like share and subscribe for more videos let me know if you have any queries please post in the comment box thank you